I'm on so much caffeine, it's like Red Bull's cold brew and coffee all mixed into one crazy concoction. Brewed in a cauldron. Hey guys, it's your weird makeup artist friend Cat Sketch who is obsessed with Elvis t-shirts, vintage things, and coffee. Today we're gonna do a video about something that is very prevalent that we all go through that I wanna talk about that not a lot of people talk about because they feel like if they talk about it that they are gonna look weak, lesser than, not as cool is all the other LA influencers and it happens so much right now because we are all on these social media apps, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, just everything. There's a new one every single day. So the more we are addicted to our phones and on the internet, the more that this happens and it happens in our brains, in our minds, and we don't even realize it. So we're gonna talk about today while turning into Instagram filters, just multiple ones on our face. But I wanna be your best friend at Big Sister today to tell you about FOMO, because we all go through it, FOMO. If you don't know what FOMO is, it actually is an acronym. It actually means fear of missing out, but it says it's an anxiety that an exciting or interesting event may be currently be happening elsewhere, often aroused by posts seen on social media websites. I feel like ever since the internet was born that we have this thing, and it says anxieties in the definition. And now that we talk about our feelings as we're getting older and on social media and on the internet and we talk about this with our parents, family, friends, they might not know what we're talking about if they're older and have not grown up on the generation that was babied by computers. So we're gonna talk about that, why it's natural, why it's okay, how to make yourself feel better while in the threshold of claws, clutches of FOMO. Well, I'm doing, again, Instagram filters. I wanna do like the pink dollar sign filter and that crazy one with the big lips that you look like an alien that had like too much plastic surgery with a ton of freckles on your face. And I wanna do some beautiful butterflies. We're gonna do at least, yeah, probably those three. And I really wanna use this palette that I got, it's the Neon Huda palette. Because I saw this pink and it reminded me of those dollar signs on Instagram because I'm just as addicted to social media as you are, friend. It's sickening, not in a, ooh, that's sickening and beautiful. That's, ooh, she needs to see someone for that. So let's get started. I feel like FOMO is the big evil cousin, stepsister of jealousy. They come hand in hand. Everybody gets jealous, it's okay. But we all see our friends online, on Instagram, they did not think about inviting us and we get upset that they didn't invite us to Stephanie's party. And unless you're a introvert, I'm a little bit of both introvert and extrovert, depending on the day, depending on how I feel. Unless you're more of an introver introvert, you won't even feel it. Although some introverts, to be honest, they get really hyped up about some stuff. I mean, there are some introverts, like they don't care if you don't invite them to Stephanie's party, but if you don't invite them to that Dungeons and Dragon meetup or the comic book event, sis, you're out of my life. Why didn't you think of me? But I feel like with social media and everything, everybody is more of a me, me, me type thing. And some people just don't even think about some of their friends. And I know that sounds sad, but we have so many online friends, real life friends, friends you only talk, talk on text, friends you only talk on the phone, friends you only talk on email, friends you only talk on Facebook, friends you only talk on Snapchat, friends you only talk on direct messages in Instagram. And it's hard to really think about everyone at the same time because we're so connected. We're like so connected but at the same time not connected to everything that's going on. And with the world news on top of all your friends, it's like, girl, there's so much. I just hope that since I grew up with computers now, because I feel like there was such a big gap from my parents' generation to mine, that it was hard for them to relate to me. And they're like, ooh, feelings, no. What are those? What is therapy? Suck it up. Don't talk to me unless you're bleeding. Then it'll be an emergency. We came from that generation, so we have all these other feelings that, you know, if you tell your parents that FOMO exists, they're gonna be like, um, what's this? What kind of new diet is that? My grandma would think it'd be a diet, and she's 94, and she's amazing. And she is obsessed with the Kardashians and is with the times. 
With FOMO though, a lot of people have it, some people have it and don't even want to admit it, and with FOMO, anxiety is in the definition, so we start thinking some of my anxieties, I don't know about you guys, but it's like this thing, it's like a passenger in my car that's me driving, sometimes the passenger tries to drive, and that's anxiety, trying to take over my life, trying to tell me, hey, whispering in my ear, hey, you um, can get in an accident right now. Um, since you're going out driving late at night, you can't have fun and you might get, you know, murdered at night. And um, if you go to uh, Stacy's party, you you might not look cool with the clothes you're wearing, you know, because they have like expensive cool clothes and you don't. You know, your anxiety is like telling you all these things that could happen and making assumptions. And I feel like FOMO, when you have anxiety with FOMO, because they come hand in hand, it seems like, you might start making assumptions in your head that's not true. So I feel like a lot of people, even on the internet nowadays, they are not only making these assumptions, but they're doing it so much so that they are so scared of talking to someone face to face because they're so used to the internet and texting and DMing and all this stuff that they um, don't talk face to face anymore, which I feel like sometimes you just need to tell a person your problems not even your problems, like talk things out in person, face to face. You need that human connection. And I feel like the older we get, there's people now that are like, if you call me, like I won't eat, what's wrong with you? I won't even answer my phone. I feel like people need to call more than text. They need to actually see each other face to face. I know it's not possible all the time when they live in another state or something, but I mean, come on. I feel like that's why a lot of people self-diagnose, there's some people, not a lot of people, there are some people that self-diagnose having depression, anxiety, and all this stuff before they actually see a doctor because they hear someone else has anxiety or depression online or some of their friends are like, oh, that sounds like me, but you're self-diagnosing yourself sometimes without even going to a doctor and getting actually diagnosed and I feel like that also is happening because I know there are a lot of people struggling out there. There's a lot of people in poverty who are actually dirt poor and homeless and stuff, but some people, they aren't that in that they're not actually struggling because we have cars now. A lot of people have cell phones and the computer at their fingertips. We have so many things that are considered necessities now that aren't really necessities for humans to thrive. Like caveman days, we didn't need a computer at our fingertips, but now that we have all this extra stuff that humans probably didn't even know that we would have we don't have any real struggles of like I'm talking about caveman days when we first like thinking humans on earth we needed to find shelter and build fires and collect and harvest food and hunter and gatherers but now that you could instead of hunting and gathering building your own fire to cook your own food and wash it and everything without getting sick now that we don't have to think about that we could just drive to the local grocery store and get gas in our chariots with our computers hooked to our chariots in our cars and our phones we don't think of we don't have that much as much struggle there are people still struggling, but we don't have as a deep of a struggle, I feel like, as we used to, unless you're fighting medical things. That's a whole nother story. I hope I'm not offending anybody yet. But I feel like since we don't have as much of a deeper struggle, we start thinking things in our head and FOMO comes and all these other anxieties because our brains are like wanting to paint, go out in nature, wash clothes by a river, go hiking, collect stones and rocks and forage. Like we don't do that stuff anymore. And I feel like our brains are developing all these other things that, are you staying with me? Am I going too far? Am I going into conspiracy theory land? I just feel like FOMO is a new thing that scientists didn't know. Well, I feel like even back in caveman days, I'm sure FOMO existed. There was someone at a local roasting a pig on a fire party that, you know, Ashley wasn't invited to, but Brandon invited Caitlin instead of Ashley. Do you get what I'm saying? I might sound crazy. I feel like sometimes the crazy old aunt of YouTube, but that's okay. Maybe I just needed to rant to someone today. I just want you to know that you're not alone, even though it's weird that we're all connected on this internet thing, 
but it makes us feel more abandoned even though we are all connected. The connection is disconnecting us in real life. Does that make sense? You're like, cat, you're just going off the deep end today. I know. I had a good day today, so I wanted to film a video and talk about what's really on my mind. And that's been on my mind. I deal with so many people who get jealous that, I mean, I don't have a 5 million followers, which is totally fine by me. I don't see my success and happiness is not determined by how many Instagram followers and how many YouTube subscribers and how many view counts I get. It is about, am I physically happy? Am I doing something I love? Do I have people around that support me and are creative, have fun with me and we do happy things? If that's all balanced, I'm happy. If I'm financially able to get by, I'm happy. Let's not put anything negative, all positives. That's why I wanna talk about FOMO because a lot of times there's a lot of what's going viral on YouTube especially, this FOMO fear of missing out is a lot more prevalent too because when YouTube first started, it was people lip syncing, dancing, showing off random things like vlogs, adventures, fun things that everybody does. But what YouTube is now is clout. Who has the most money, the most Lambos, who wears all the Gucci, who does all the fun things, who could buy all the fun things on top of it, and who could show it off the most and who gets the most views, buying all the crazy stuff, testing all the crazy things. But it's also, I feel like, feeding this FOMO. I feel like the fear of missing out should not be something material, like buying something, being seen at a party with other people that will make them famous. The fear of missing out should be, wow, look how happy this person is doing something that I could do that inspires me. The fear of missing out should be, wow, I want to be as happy as that person and make a difference and do something fun, creative, something I'm passionate about. The fear of missing out on life of happiness, full of happiness, that is like that. I just feel like YouTube has gone in such a weird place that I never thought it was going to be. And maybe that's just like the old, old grandma of me. But I feel like these filters, like I'm painting on my face, some of them put this on and some of them do it to look cute too because they don't want to show what's really going on with, you know, I'm sure Kim and Kylie get fear of missing out FOMO when their friends don't invite them to something or they're doing something that, you know, everyone does the, Rachel, why didn't you invite me to? Your baby shower, I thought we were best friends. Why didn't you invite me to your wedding party? It's fear of missing out. You know how many times have you had conversations every day with people if you have an Instagram or a Snapchat and you're doing those stories that last 24 hours then go away and someone who watch your stories all the time and you see them in person after they've been watching your stories but you don't always know or look and check that you're watching their stories and like, oh yeah, I saw you do that today. That looked fun. And then there's that tone like, oh my gosh, that looks so much fun. I hope you had fun. And then there's a tone of like, oh my gosh, I saw you do that today. Yeah, like why didn't you invite me or something? That's that's. FOMO clicking in. You need to realize this and don't get angry at these people with FOMO because I don't even get angry who, at people who like go off on me or hate me because I know what anxiety is so much because I've suffered from it so much. I could spot it in someone and I know it's not a permanent thing. It's just a mood. It's just something that's going to go away. I've had the craziest things done and said to me but instead of the fear of missing out, why don't you... I'm not going to tell you what to do. But when I have those fears of missing out, because everybody gets them, what we need to do is do something fun and productive. Or productive. You know, do something for yourself. Who cares what other people think? I feel like the fear of missing out is also like, why if people are going to think this because they didn't see me at that party, they didn't see me with this person. As long as you're happy, who cares what other people think? As long as you're not like hurting people it's fine i feel like when people invent whoever invented instagram and snapchat and tiktok they knew they were making something to help people mask themselves and their lives i don't think they made it as like a fun thing just to show off pictures because if they did we wouldn't be having all these algorithm problems 
where it won't show some of your friends and followers. I think finally, now that I'm in a good place and out of California, I'm starting to realize the way people think and how even if they're mean to me or whatever, or like, I can see who has the best intentions for me and who is toxic to themselves and others. And it doesn't affect me. I'm not gonna let them affect me. In 2020, we're gonna be in a more zen mode and we're gonna learn a lot. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make such fun stuff on this channel that I hope you guys will come along with me on this adventure fun. Because who cares about FOMO and what everyone else thinks? A lot of people only have that fear of missing out because they care what other people think about them. Sometimes I'd rather just hang out with you guys and film videos than go out to a party. Sometimes I'm jealous of introverts and people. I'm sometimes an introvert, but not all the time. Sometimes I want to go out and I do get FOMO. And so it's like, I want to change that this year. Because I feel like FOMO is a thing of the past that is more juvenile. And I want to change that about myself. I can make my own fun. Who cares what other people think? I just want to impress myself and make my future better. A little life update. I am not finished unpacking my stuff. Oh my gosh. I forgot how in crazy insane it is to move your whole life. I've never done cross country moving and it's crazy. I'm still not unpacked and I've been here for a month. I'm just get some white aqua paint to do some little dots. I'm putting some really light aqua paint over the pink to make it look more like the filter of the dollar signs. Okay, I'm gonna do some fake freckles, which will be hard. Although I guess not that hard because I feel like the fake freckles on the Instagram filter I'm recreating doesn't look that realistic. And I like to make my freckles look as realistic even though they're fake. Let's contour our nose, shall we? Because I feel like that freckly filter has a big lift that we're gonna glue our lip. It's gonna be crazy. And we're gonna contour our nose. And now it's time to glue. Oh my gosh, we're gonna glue our lip. If you told me when I started my YouTube channel that I'd be doing this, I'd be like, what? what are you talking about? Just getting some lash glue, lash, lash glue. We're gonna look all the, like the influencer girls that we adore and like our, their <laughs> pictures and videos on Instagram. Wow, gonna let that dry. <laughs> Get it, make our lips look like we got injections. My mom would bless me with some big lips and now they're gonna look even crazier. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, it still needs to stay there. Oh gosh. Mm, yeah, she's falling. She needs to stay. My foundation's lifting. Maybe I need Prose. Round two, fight! We're gonna use some Prose because my foundation's lifting and the lash glue is not working. I swear I saw people on TikTok using lash glue for this little lip trick, but it's not working for me. Maybe because I've got industrial size lips. <laughs> Making a crazy milk mustache looking thing. For about 30 seconds to a minute, we have to look like a Karen who's upset that her cultural Asian Native American neighbor is playing basketball outside for too long. Who's upset that uh, the person at Subway had a tongue with them when they made their Subway sandwich? That Karen? <laughs> you guys know what Karen is? Come on, stay. Ew, it looks like I got white snot. Is my lips too big for this? Please stay. I want to look like an alien surgical person for like one minute. Oh my gosh. We did it, fam. Oh my gosh, I feel like a doll. I'm gonna put a little concealer there. This is gonna be a cupid's bow. Gonna get some nude lipstick. So I just realized I have to talk with these lips on. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me. Wow, I wish I was covered in butterflies. I hate this lip though. It's not cute in person. You guys don't need lip filler, trust. I feel like a goldfish. I feel like a Disney princess gone wrong. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me talking about FOMO while turning into a lot of Instagram filters. Just remember the fear of missing out is part of anxiety. It's in the definition, so it will come and go as long as you feel happy with yourself. You don't need others to feel happy about yourself. Your achievements, your accomplishments, your goals, your hobbies, your passions, and everything that makes you you I'm not gonna say it should be enough, but you are probably an awesome person. And if I wish we could see mirrors and actually see our true reflection of ourselves sometimes, I know anxiety, depression, PTSD and stuff could really affect that, but FOMO is just making our crap worse <laughs> with mental health. Fear of missing out and seeing all these other people in social media is affecting our mental health. I hope you all know that. And you're not alone. I don't know if you find solace in that, and I don't know if me looking this crazy talking to you about this will help, 
But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave me a comment down below on what you would like for me to do in a video or talk about in the future. I would love to hear it. Subscribe for more videos like this. I also do makeup effects videos every Monday and Friday. I know a lot of people are doing these Instagram filters on YouTube, so I hope you guys enjoyed my weird one while we talked about something a little bit more heavy and interesting that everyone goes through. And I'll see you creators in the next video. Love you all. Bye.